Good morning. A number of years ago, my friend and I opened a business, a painting business, and we painted ceilings and walls and staircases and bedrooms and patios. We did faux painting and mural painting and regular painting. And one thing that made our end product so good was the paint we used and the formula that goes into good paint. Every family has a rich history. You've got people in your family on whose shoulders you stand, who've made a real difference in your formation, in your choices, in your spiritual and, and emotional outlook in life. And we know, because of the way our ancestors, our relatives, have inspired us, that what goes into the mix is just as important as the end product. If anything, this pandemic has taught us is that we can't take our growth and our personal character for granted. So many times we've thrown our growth onto automatic pilot and just really not paid attention to what's been happening in our lives. Just kind of assimilating data around us and behaviors that seem to fit and don't cause too much trouble. And then when we're faced with a crisis, or we enter a pandemic, or we're faced with national systemic behavior that shocks us, we ask ourselves, how did we get here? Just like our relatives, many of you have granny's favorite recipe or mom's best way of doing things. And the thing that made granny's brownies so good were the ingredients were the things that went into it. We can no longer just assume that we're growing at the right rate. The question that rises to my mind is, what are you made of? What am I made of? What are the components that create who I am today? And have I been intentional enough in making sure, in being picky, about the way I assimilate what the world has around me and choose to carry within me as my own character. There are so many ways that we can ponder this. How do we come out of a pandemic? How do we come out of a national crisis? How do you come out of a personal crisis? If you haven't been paying attention to the components of your character, the ingredients of the recipe, the calculations of the formula that make you, you. Spend some time today taking stock of who you are and how you've gotten to where you are, why you hold the positions you do, why you believe strongly in the things you believe strongly. Assess what needs tweaking and evaluating so that this time of crisis has some benefit for us, that you've used it well, and that it's been a training period of sorts. I know I'll do the same. I have been doing the same almost daily, but I think it's really important. We can't just grow by accident. We can't just become the people we wanna be by keeping our fingers crossed. It's got to be intentional. What are you putting into the formula of yourself? And how are you supporting the development of the formula of the people around you? Good work, hard work, lifelong work, but we can do it together.